This video is about making an electric lockpick from a cheap electric toothbrush. An electric lockpick works by vibrating the metal pick tip, which pushes up on the pins in the lock. A tension tool is used to apply a small amount of turning pressure to the plug of the lock. When all of the top pins in the lock are above the shear line, the turning pressure will cause the lock to turn and open. Electronic lockpicks are a well-known lockpicking tool and an improvement from the manual lockpicking snap gun. They work in the same way as snap guns, but use a motor or electromagnet to continuously oscillate the needle. Instead of vibration, a snap gun works by impacting the bottom of the pins. An electronic lockpick can be a good tool to have, but they are not 100% effective and some locks won't respond to them. They are an easy to use method for opening locks and can sometimes open a lock door in seconds and other times it can't open it at all. Electronic lockpicks can be expensive, but one can be made from a cheap electric toothbrush. The electric toothbrush used was an Oral-B Complete AA battery powered toothbrush. The head of the toothbrush is removed. The metal piece that vibrates when turned on will become the pick tip. The toothbrush is secured in a vise so that the plastic around the metal piece can be cut off. I used a little saw to cut the plastic off. I cut a bit too low and should have cut closer to the second oval hole. Because I cut too low, the metal piece came out. I was able to fix this with some super glue after I smoothed out the cut plastic with a file and some sandpaper. If you cut higher up, the metal piece will stay in place and you won't need to add any glue. The last step is filing down the metal piece so it resembles the standard straight tip of an electric lockpick. I used metal files, but a rotary tool could also be used. I made it a bit smoother with some fine grit sandpaper. This was the final thickness that I made the pick tip. A small amount of turning pressure is applied with a tension tool in the direction the lock opens. This pressure is minimal and different locks will require different amounts of force. Insert the pick tip of the electric lock pick into a lock. Try to keep the pick tip level so it makes contact with all of the pins. Successfully using an electric lock pick is mostly about understanding tension and being able to read the feedback from the lock. Tiny changes in the lock are transmitted along the tension tool and if you are applying too much tension, the pins will struggle to move. You may be able to feel this feedback in the tension tool as well as the action in the pick tip. You should be making small adjustments in the pressure of the tension to adapt to changes in the lock. As the pins are set, you may require more or less tension and the plug may slightly turn when a pin is set. It can also be good to occasionally remove the pick tip 
and reset the lock by turning the tension tool in the opposite direction. This will cause any set pins to fall and fix any false sets or other issues. The locks must be in good working order as a dirty lock could prevent the pins from moving freely. I found that it opens some locks very quickly. Practice is essential and so is knowing when to stop with a technique and move on to something else. Having a good range and selections of locks for practice can help you learn the technique of using an electric lockpick.